Britain and Russia are locked in a war of words tonight over the EU's decision to relax its arms embargo on Syria. The move was pushed through a meeting of UA foreign, EU foreign ministers in Brussels last night under pressure from Britain and France, who want the option of providing weapons to moderate elements of the rebel movement. But Russia labelled the action unlawful and responded by confirming plans to provide anti-aircraft missiles to the Assad regime. Sarah Smith has this report. Moderate Syrian rebels are reduced to training with wooden replica guns. They say they simply can't resist the heavy weaponry of the Syrian army unless they get more help from outside. So are these the people we might start supplying with arms? Islamists, yes, but not Al-Qaeda. It's so hard to know when one man's rebel becomes another man's jihadist or where the weapons might end up. Fears of a foreign-fed arms race in Syria increased today as Russia announced that they will be sending state-of-the-art anti-aircraft missiles to the Assad regime, while at the same time criticizing the EU for lifting their arms embargo. You cannot on one hand declare your intention to stop the bloodshed, but on the other hand move in the direction of pumping Syria with yet more weapons. The lifting of the embargo is the latest development in Syria's increasingly international civil war. Britain and France are now free to join Qatar and Saudi Arabia, who are already thought to have provided weaponry to opposition factions. Russia's continuing supply of arms makes them one of the regime's biggest supporters. And then there's Assad's regional allies. Lebanese militant group Hezbollah has fighters on the ground. And Iran is strongly suspected of providing tons of weapons. The UK could start arming Syrian rebels tomorrow if they wanted to, but the Foreign Secretary made very clear today they've got no intention of doing so before August at the very earliest. There certainly will not be any armed shipments before a peace conference that it is hoped will take place next month. And that conference is what this move is really all about. It's more of a diplomatic development than a military one at this stage. The idea is that lifting the EU arms embargo should put more pressure on President Assad to negotiate a settlement or he faces the possibility of the UK and France arming his enemies. The US and Russian foreign ministers hope to convene a peace conference in Geneva in just two weeks' time. The Russians believe promises to arm the rebels will directly harm those negotiations. William Hague is convinced it will pressure Assad into making concessions. Having met uh, President Assad um, several times, um, I'm not sure that that's uh, the case. I, I don't think this is one of the things that he's going to uh, take into this. What he will be concerned about is the big guys, namely the United States and Russia, and where they are. Uh, can he fully count on uh, Russia to back him all the way? And will the United States position change on this? The US do not currently plan to start arming Syrian rebels. The dangers are obvious. The moderate rebels whom the West wants to win fight alongside Al-Qaeda affiliates who would happily turn our own guns against us one day.